All right, guys, <clears throat> this should be a quick one about shadows. Um, maybe not that quick, but we'll see. All right, starting off a new project here. I called it shadows. I went print, letter, made a landscape, it create. I'm going over the beginning part real quick. You should know how to do this. All right, I need a background. So I'm going to go file, open in place. Um, I called this one sunny day. Let me open it. All right, there it is. Now remember, I want to keep the proportion, so I'm going to hold shift while I make it bigger. All right, uh, there we go. Hit the check mark. All right, um, the key here is this shadow, right? Shadow next to the tree. Since there's a shadow in the picture, whatever character I add has to have a shadow. So let me go file, open in place. Um, Here's a picture of Thor I'm down here, make him a little bigger. All right, we'll put him up here. All right, so if Thor is at the check mark. All right, Thor is standing there. There needs to be a shadow coming down, same as a shadow on the tree. All right, to make a shadow, look at my layers. And that's why I have the camera picture here in the top corner instead of the bottom corner, because I want to make sure you can see your layers. This is important. So, I need to make a copy of the Thor layer. Control J, right? Control J makes a copy. Now, how do I, and you can see, whoops, I'm going to take my move tool, and we can see I have a copy. I need to outline this copy, right? I need to select it. If I just go up here to select an all, look what happens. It gives me the whole entire box. I don't want that. So, I'm going to hit Control D as in deselect, control D, deselects. No more dotted lines. This time I'm gonna hold control and click on the thumbnail. Look what my cursor is. I'm not clicking on the layer, I'm clicking on the actual little mini picture here. I click that and now the picture, the image is outlined. We can see the outlines here, right? It's hard to see, but it is outlined. All right, I'll zoom back out. Remember, control plus, control minus, that's how you zoom. All right, he's outlined. Now, here's a trick, right? Remember D, when we hit letter D, it changes your colors back to black and white, right? So I hit D, I've got black and white. If I want to fill him in, right, since he's selected, so I've got this layer and there's dotted lines around him. So if I fill it in, it's only going to fill him in. And the shortcut is control and backspace. Oh, look at that. Look what happens. Smart object must be rasterized first. All right, so I need to right click on that layer. And remember to right click on a Chromebook or any touchpad, you two fingers, right? Just a little bit apart. Maybe can you see? There we go. Just a little space between the fingers. <laughs> and then on the touchpad. And that'll give you right click. All right and then choose rasterize. Now, I'm on the correct layer, he's selected, control backspace, fills in white, that's the bottom color, alt backspace, fills in the top color, all right? But I don't want black, I want this shadow color, look at that, look at the shadow of the tree, it's kind of greenish, shadowish color, so I'm, I wanna use that color. So I'm gonna come up here, select my eyedropper, and then I'm gonna click on that color green. Now I hit Alt Backspace and my shadow is the same color. All right, next up, I need to get rid of the dotted lines. Control D, deselect. You could also come up here where it says select and hit deselect, see, Control D. All right, <clears throat> take my move tool, I can move them around. I need to flip him upside down, right? A couple ways to do that. Control-Alt-Delete, right? Control-Alt-Delete is your tra free transform. You can also go to Edit and come down to Free Transform. Notice it's Control-Alt-T, right? I think I said Delete, my bad. Control-Alt-T, all right? That's Free Transform. That gives you the box. <clears throat> so from here, two options. I can just click straight down, bring the shadow straight down, right? 
or I can right click and choose flip vertically. All right, it does the same thing, right? This one just keeps the proportions exact. All right, that looks pretty good, um, but look at the shadow here. It's at an angle. So I might as well just sort of rotate this a little bit. Not much, because I need to use other techniques to rotate it more. And I'm gonna zoom in and hold the space bar. That'll let me get up here like this. Okay, so from here, we can see I need to do some adjusting, right? I think that looks pretty good, leaving the foot hanging over like this, all right? But this other stuff needs to be changed over. And there's a couple options. If I right click and choose warp, now you still have to have the control alt T box open. Your free transform box has to be there. And then right click, and if I choose warp, well, it kind of lets me distort things. So if I go to this top corner, and pull up, see how it moves the foot up. I can come over here and kind of stretch this over. Then I can take all of this and kind of move it over. You want to move all of them, right? The whole thing over. Move this in. All right, so all the boxes they got up there, you want to kind of shift over. All right, I think that looks a little better. Let me move this way over. Let's see, there we go. All right, now look at his foot. His foot got messed up. So I need to move this over, and we'll see if that helps. I want the heel lined up. That looks pretty good. Uh, doesn't look very good, does it? Let me move this down a little. All right, now we can work with that, right? This side needs to come in because hopefully some of you are thinking ahead and you're thinking about using different tools at this point, right? What else can you use? We could use a mask to help cover this up and that's what we're gonna end up doing. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit the check mark and we'll zoom back out. All right, there we go. That shadow does look like about the right angle. Now there's a few issues. So opacity, I'm going to turn down the opacity, and maybe up a little, there we go, that looks a lot better. I need to clear up his foot, all right, so I'm going to zoom in, and how do we erase this shadow in the sky there, mask, Look, remember down here, the rectangle with the circle in the middle, adds the mask, we use a brush. Remember, I'm gonna hit letter B for my brush. I'm gonna come over here and choose the brush I want. Round one is good. Hit BRU again to close it. Remember, I need black, that's not black. So I'm gonna hit D, letter D, black and white. Oh my, but I need black on top. How do I switch them? That's right, X. All right, now I can get in here and clean that up. Clean up this part a bit here, there we go. Get this part off of his leg. I should have made my brush bigger, but you guys get the idea. Oops, went a little too far, there we go. And I'm gonna make my brush bigger. All right, that's better. All right, perfect. So, now, uh, not perfect, there we go. You guys know me, I'm perfectionist, <laughs> right, okay. That's good. Now let me zoom out a little bit. All right, what's next? The, look at the lines, too straight, right? Let's blur it. Well, notice I've still got the mask selected. If I wanna blur the shadow, I need to select the shadow. Look at the dotted lines now around the thumbnail. Shadow selected. I can come up here to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We did this last year, hopefully you remember. I have the preview box selected and you can already see it started to blur. That looks a lot better. Let me increase it a little more. Much better. That looks about right. And maybe a little too much. Turn it down a little. There we go. And okay. All right. Almost perfect, right? I'm going to change brushes. I'm going to go back into the mask. I'm going to go to my brush tool. And I'm going to choose one of these brushes that's kind of spotty. I'll hit the brush back again. 
so small I can't see it, using my bracket next to the letter P to make it bigger. There we go. Now I'm going to turn down the flow of the brush. Then I'm going to click. Look at that. Now we're getting somewhere, right? Started to add some a little pattern. Now look at the tree shadow. Look at this shadow. It could be a little darker, right? Maybe turn the opacity up a little bit. There we go. All right, that's it. Perfect. That's how you do shadows. All right, guys. Talk to you later.